going on people talk about some upcoming projects we got coming up videos coming out uh, one I got to do brakes on this truck uh, two days ago I noticed the uh, started hearing some scrubbing from this right rear back here uh, pads about completely gone uh, so it's time to do brakes on this thing we're gonna do it all the way around uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna do rotor tips It'll probably depend on how they look when I get them off uh, I know this one here I might try to polish up because this this one the uh, guy pins on the caliper is dragging so it, it hadn't been working properly so we're gonna look into that and uh, get these brakes changed out probably gonna uh, look in to try to get the uh, ABS problem that I got going on and uh, might even get around to uh, rebuilding the uh, front drive shaft and get the front drive shaft back in this thing uh, the other project I got coming and this one's probably gonna be a multi-part series it's gonna be my little skiff over here uh, about a year ago I started redoing it uh, it's about a early 60s model I believe uh, I believe it's a ridge line I have to look up look it up and you'll see more details in the video when it comes out but uh, it's a riveted boat it's constantly leaks or did leak uh, I'm going to I had already started getting all the old ceiling off that people had tried to put on it over the years I got it mostly cleaned up and had it ready to paint but never got around to painting it I'm gonna epoxy the bottom basically what you can see from that tape line down and uh, try to get it to quit leaking as much it's ready to rivet the boat it's gonna pretty much leak I don't really care what you do it's gonna leak some to some degree I'm just trying to get it to where it's manageable and uh we're gonna get that on, get the bottom done on it. Might even try to polish the sides a little bit. Get the aluminum shining back bright. Uh, get the inside cleaned out, obviously. It's a mess. Uh, might try to wire up some lights on it, some running lights. Uh, Cause I do like to hang out at night on the water some. But uh, it's a good little haul. I got a 25 uh, Evan Rude and uh, it's a 76 model. It runs pretty good. Uh, I'm sure I might have to go to a carburetor by now because it's been sitting so long, but uh, it's always had good compression. The uh, only issue I've ever had with it was uh, I had to replace the coils one time. Uh, but we'll service that up. It's, like I said, it's going to be a multi-part video. So stick around, look for that. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.